Welcome back to my channel. It's Kayla from Kayla's Cricut Creations and today I'm showing how to use a tumbler press. I purchased this press from Heat Transfer Warehouse months ago and I'm finally getting it out of the box. They sent me some tumblers to test out so I will be pressing those in today's video. I want to start off showing the tumbler press. I have this turned off so it's not hot at all, but this middle section here, that's the heating element and it is connected with a cable to the control panel of the tumbler press. To turn it on, I just press the green button on the side and you can see the control panel here. It'll automatically start warming up to the last temperature that you had. Also, if you want to switch it from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you'll hold that set button for five seconds and you can hit the arrow down for Celsius or up for Fahrenheit. Once you have the one that you want selected, then press the set button for five seconds again. To set the temperature, you'll press set. It'll show SP and below it, it'll show the temperature. To adjust it, you can just press the arrows either up or down. Once you have that, you'll press set again and it'll say S. I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like an E, but it's missing the top. But then you can press the up and down arrows and select your time. So here I selected 60. Select to set one more time and that will save your settings. It won't beep to let you know it's ready, but you'll be able to see that it is on the screen. When you press the handle down, it'll automatically start counting down and that little time symbol will show up. On the back of the press, there will be two black knobs. When I first took this out of the box, it had some oil on it, so you'll want to clean it off a little bit. Just don't clean off any of the silver part, but these adjust the size and pressure depending on what tumbler you use, and I'll show you how to do this with the tumbler in a second here, but you do want to try to adjust both knobs the same amount to get even pressure. Here's a closer look at the tumblers. There's lots of fingerprint smudges, so I will clean it. I love the sparkles on this. So the first two, the silver one and the next one will be green. They are 20 ounce tumblers and with this tumbler press, 20 ounce straight tumblers are preferred even though you can experiment with it and use some other tumblers as well. I will also be testing out this skinny can cooler, which will be fun, and also this frosted 16 ounce glass. If you've watched my other YouTube sublimation videos, you'll know that I use a sub paper. This is still a sub, but I bought a different paper weight. This is 105 compared to I think 125 that I normally use. And the reason for that is because of the seams on tumbler wraps. With this paper, it feels more like copy paper weight and it just helps with not showing that seam as much. I found all of my designs from Creative Fabrica. I can leave them all linked in my description box. The sizing for this was 9.4 inches for my width and 7.9 for the height and I just used Canva for it. Once it's done, I use my paper cutter to cut off all of those white edges. I really need to get a new blade for my paper cutter because it wasn't too sharp, but it still worked. I'll be adding this design to my silver tumbler. I grabbed some rubbing alcohol and cleaned down the tumbler really well. I see some people using a lint roller to make sure there's no dust or lint on it as well. You just want to get it nice and clean because if there's any dirt or anything on there, it'll show up. I decided to flip my tumbler upside down and add my design that way so that I can just kind of line it up with the edge there. And it looks like I had this sized pretty well. I wanted it to overlap about an eighth of an inch and I think it did that. You'll want to pull the paper as tight as you possibly can. So I did that and then just held my thumb on top of it. Then with my other hand, I put tape just right in the center there. After that, I do the same thing. I pull it as tight as possible and add tape to the top. Then I go in on the bottom and pull that as tight as possible. I also try to make sure it's totally lined up too. You can kind of see through the paper that design and you can kind of tell that it's lined up. But after that, I just add tape all the way down the center. If you make a lot of sublimation projects, I highly recommend this tape dispenser. It's so amazing. When you twist it, it automatically cuts the tape for you. It's such a game changer. It's like you have an extra hand helping you with it. 
Once the tape is down, I take my scraper tool and run it along that seam. You can also use your fingernail like I'm doing here, and that just really helps press it down to help eliminate seeing as much of the seam. I also tape the top and bottom to make sure there's no ghosting. I use the thicker tape that I have on the side of my tape dispenser there just because it's easier to press this down. But what I do is I run it along the entire edge of the seam first. Then I take both of my thumbs and press against the paper and the tape at the same time and run along the entire edge. I just want to make sure there's no gaps in the paper. I also go in with my fingernail around the whole thing as well once the tape is all down. After I have everything taped, I grab my butcher paper and place that around my tumbler. This just helps prevent any ink bleeding through onto the tumbler press. So I forgot a huge step before adding all of your paper and tape, you want to test out the tumbler on the tumbler press because you want to adjust those knobs to make sure that it fits in there correctly. You'll want to do this before turning your tumbler press on, and thankfully I had the green 20 ounce tumbler because it's the exact same size as the silver one. What you'll do is place the tumbler in the press, then close the handle, and then you can push against the tumbler. If it moves, then you need to tighten up the knobs. I open up the handle, then I start to tighten them. I try to adjust them about the same so that the pressure is about the same. Then I close the handle and test it again. I could just barely move it, so I decided to tighten it a little bit more. I close it to test it one more time and it wasn't moving. You have to push a little hard to close it. Also looking at the top, there is very little that is shown of the tumbler, so that looked perfect. Now I can turn the tumbler press on and set my temperature and time. I set it for 365, even though looking at their pamphlet, it says to do 356, but it still ended up working and I did it for 60 seconds. Now I'm ready to add my tumbler. I put my hand kind of on the top. It's not hot there as I close it and I let it run for the full 60 seconds. Once it's done, I open up the handle. I have my heat resistant glove on and I turn the tumbler about 180 degrees because there is a small section that isn't getting heated through and I let that run for the full 60 seconds. Once it's done, it'll beep again and I just put my tumbler on my mat. It is very hot once it's out of the tumbler press, but I use my gloves because I am very impatient. I don't like to wait to see how it turned out. So I use those to be able to take off the tape and paper. The tape can be a little tricky to take off. I use my weeding tool, but just be careful when you're doing that so it doesn't poke into the tumbler because it could scratch it. Also, I like having my tape layered like that because some of it all comes off together. Now I'm ready to take off the paper. It's the moment of truth and I will show you a close up of how it turned out. Here's how it looks. The glitter on this tumbler is beautiful. The black ink showed up so well. I love the design. Here's how the flowers look. They look a tiny bit faded because it's on silver. If it was on white, it would look a little bit more vibrant with the flowers. There's kind of a glare on this, but here's the seam. The seam looks great. You can see just the tiniest bit of white, so I could have maybe made it the tiniest bit bigger, but other than that, you can barely see the seam. It looks excellent. I feel like it was lined up really well also. Now I'm ready for my next design. This will be on the green tumbler. I print this out again. I mirror my design in my printer settings. Also, I can leave my printer settings in the description box as well. Here I'm cleaning my tumbler with the rubbing alcohol. Once that's done, I'm ready to add my paper and I just add my paper the exact same way I did with the other tumbler. As I was adding my paper, I could tell that it wasn't totally lined up. This one, there was not a lot of room for air. It had to be lined up just perfectly. And I still decided to go ahead to press it and I'll show you how the seam part wasn't totally lined up. But if you can tell, 
um, as you're looking through the paper. I would just reprint it. It's better to waste some ink and paper than a whole tumbler, but it's hard to see on the screen here, but you could actually see the images through the paper pretty well. I did make this the same size as my last tumbler, and that one lined up so well, so I'm not exactly sure what went wrong there. But here, I'm just adding my tape to the top and bottom, and then I will add the butcher paper. Here, I'm adding my tumbler, and I follow the exact same process as the other tumbler. I press it for 60 seconds. Once it's done, I turn the tumbler, then I press it for another 60 seconds. I cut out me taking off all the tape because that's kind of boring to watch, but here's how it turned out. You can see a little ink on the paper there, and I think I just had it sized just a little bit off, but here's how it looks. I will show you the seam in a second. I do love the glitter on this one, and this design is so cool. I love the sunflowers and the dragonflies. It's very neat. Looking at the seam, you can tell it doesn't totally line up and there's a little white space. And as you can see, there was a little bit of ink on the paper still. I had it just a little too wide. My measurement was 9.4 for the width. What I would do if I went in and resized it is I would have done 9.375 and I think it would have been perfect. For my next project, I'll be sublimating the frosted can glass. Look how cute this design is for it. The tulips and butterflies are just my favorite. For my temperature, I set it to 356, and for the time, I set it to 140. In their little instruction booklet, it says for a glass mug to do 280, but I just felt like that seems so long, and since I'd be pressing it twice, I decided to do 140 instead. I printed this design off in Cricut, so I just grabbed my scissors and cut around the design and get rid of those registration lines. I actually remembered to test out my tumbler, and this is quite a bit bigger than the 20 ounce ones, so I had to loosen the knobs up quite a bit. I'm not sure if this tumbler press is really meant for these type of mugs, and there was a few things after I pressed this that I would change that I will show you at the end, but here I'm using rubbing alcohol to clean the glass, then I add my design. Once again, I pull the paper as tight as I can, then add my tape in the center. After that, I take my tape and, and put it around each edge of the paper just to make sure that it was as flat as possible. Then I add my butcher paper around that. Then I'm ready to add it to my tumbler press. I let it run down for 140 seconds, then open it. I flip it around about 180 degrees. Then I close the handle again and let it run for another 140 seconds. First of all, look how gorgeous this design is. I think it's so beautiful and I love it so much. There's just a few imperfections in here. So the first is that you can see this butterfly at the very top. It's rounded there, so I just think the tumbler press couldn't get to it. And at the bottom where it's rounded, you can see some fading down there as well. To fix that, I would just need to make the design just not as tall and I think it would have worked perfectly. Also, you can see how nice and dark this transferred, but the one next to it is so faded as well. My only thought to this is I didn't press this as long as their booklet says. It says to do 280 seconds, so maybe I should have done that. This butterfly is also faded there, so I might need to just play around with the temperature. Maybe I didn't have the pressure exactly right with the knobs, so I only have one of these. I wish I could have tested out another one. If you've made these, let me know how yours turned out. My last project, I'll be sublimating on the Skinny Can Cooler. This design is super fun. It says Summer Vibes, which I think will just be perfect for it. Here I'm testing out the pressure for this. As you can see, it's much smaller than the frosted glass, so I need to adjust the knobs and tighten those up.
Here I'm cleaning off the outside of it and this type of design is so much easier because it's not an actual wrap. I just tape the paper to it. I make sure to tape all the edges again just to make sure that's nice and flat. Also with sublimation you can personalize these. You can put your name on them so it's really fun. These can make super great gifts as well since you can have it really say whatever you want. I pressed this for 365 degrees for 60 seconds, but what's funny is I was used to doing the wraps, so I did the same process where I pressed it, turned it a little bit, and pressed it again, and all I needed to do was make sure that my design was completely covered by the heat and just press it one time, but that's okay. <laughs> and the moment of truth for this one, here's how it turned out. Super fun and cute design, and I will definitely be using this this summer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the Tumblr press. I did recently do a video on the sublimation oven, so I will link that down below so you can kind of compare the two, but it's just so fun making tumblers. I love it. I kind of want to do a follow-up video showing more about getting the perfect seam and measurements. Also, I kind of want to try out the glass, uh, frosted glass tumbler again to try to make that work. So let me know if you want to see any follow-up videos. I would also love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is completely free and it just means so much when you subscribe to my channel, when you comment and like it. So thank you so much.